Hi folks, it's Friday, April the 3rd, and I'm still indoors. Um, we're trying to protect ourselves against the COVID-19 virus. Um, of course, that means that we can't go out, we're not very much anyway. So, what do we do with exercise? Um, as everyone knows, exercise is very important for Parkinson's. And I'll be talking about different exercises that I do and we do. Um, but there's one little 11 minute exercise plan which we've been following. Uh, it's the Royal Canadian Air Force Five Basic Exercises. It's graded according to age and fitness. And I'm going to show you, or try to show you, what, uh, what we've been doing in the last week with what, each of these basic exercises. Um, so the first one is touching your toes. Stretching up, kind of warm up exercise. And this is how I do it. Now, can I reach my feet? Can I reach my feet? Can I touch the floor? And can I come back up like this? I'll do that once more. Toes, floor. And up. Now, the idea is that each of these exercises should last a minute or two minutes. Two minutes in the case of the touching your toes. One minute in the case of what I'm going to do here, or try to do here, which is a sit-up. Uh, and you have a certain number to do at each level. And obviously the idea is that you improve and reach a level where you can maintain optimum fitness. Uh, so, anyway, we've got the touch your toes and stretch. And then we've got the sit-ups. Now, at the level I'm at, which is a pretty low level, uh, I'm supposed to do 10 of these in a minute. So, uh, let's, I do have a little bit of a help from my friend. Uh, but we'll see how they go. So this is 10 in one minute. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, um, two exercises down, three to go. Cat here helping us. Maxi, hello, Maxi. Uh, the next one, Maxi next to me, is a kind of um, a boat, I suppose, I'm not sure what you call it. Uh, so the idea is that I stretch out here, put my hands underneath on my thighs, and then I raise my head and shoulders and my legs at the same time. So let's see what it happens here. That's one. And that's two. I don't know if you can see it, but it'll be my shoulders off the, the mat and my feet off the mat uh, at the same time. And uh, I have to do 13 of those in a minute. The following exercise, if I can extricate myself from this position, Press ups. That's where I have most difficulty. My arms, particularly my right arm, is not very strong. Um, you'll have to excuse the technique here. Okay, in position, might need to adopt an unorthodox position.
and push up. No, I can hold it like that, but to get down is a, you're supposed to, as far as I understand, touch the mat again with your chest before pushing up, which is really difficult for me. When it becomes difficult, it's permissible for the lower levels of the chart to use your legs or your knees a bit. So it's, I feel it's a little bit cheating, but it's better than nothing. Anyway, I'm supposed to do nine of those in a minute, but that's pretty difficult at the moment. Uh, so that's four down, one to go. And the one is supposedly running on the spot, but that is a bit difficult for people with Parkinson's, or at least difficult for me, uh, because I can't keep my balance very easily. So I can try running on the spot, but it's much easier if I run along. And you do 75, four lots of 75. You'll have to look at the chart. Uh, I'll put it on a uh, link to the chart. 75 paces with each foot. And then you do 10 star jumps. Now, at the beginning of the week, I couldn't do a star jump. Uh, but if all goes well now, I will be able to. And you're supposed to do 10 of these. So let's get my mind focused. And then I do another 75 running, another 10. Star jumps on 75 running, another 10. 10 star jumps till we get up to 335 with the something like 45 star jumps. And then that's it uh, until tomorrow. And I'll keep you posted. Thanks for, so thanks for watching. Bye for now.